Acer over the years carved out a niche for launching innovative and excellent Chromebooks. The latest model was the Acer Chromebook Spin 713, a mid to high end laptop with a 3x2 display, 360 hinge, the latest 10th gen Intel processor and Wi-Fi 6. Does the Spin 713 have enough to beat the class leading Google Pixelbook Go? Let's take it for a spin. The Spin 713 has a shiny aluminium lid with a plastic keyboard deck in a drab grey steel colour. Aluminium chassis ensures it is solid, sturdy and well made. There's very little flex on the keyboard and screen cover. No surprise it is military standard certified to 810G. The Spin 713 weighs 1.37kg or just over £3. The 360 hinge lets you convert the Chromebook from a laptop to stand mode or tent mode to watch movies or YouTube. The flexible hinges fold fully back to tablet mode, giving you the option to hold the Chromebook like a book for web surfing or streaming a video. The internals are fairly easy to get into, nine screws and lift up the bottom cover to reveal the soldered on and therefore non-upgradable memory. The M.2 SSD and battery is upgradable. When you open the display lid, you are instantly met with a 3x2 aspect ratio 13.5 inch screen, giving 18% more vertical screen space to read and write. The resolution on the IPS touchscreen panel is set at 2256 by 1504 and is made of tough Corning Gorilla Glass. The display can be used with an optional USI pen for note taking. Colours are vibrant and impressed with the clarity of details when streaming a movie. The panel covers 80% of the sRGB colour gamut. Brightness is rated at 415 nits, far above the average of 250 nits found on most laptops. In layman terms, you can take this outside to work or play in the garden during a sunny day. However, there is some glare from the glossy panel due to the touchscreen glass. In tablet mode, the touchscreen is quick to change orientation and navigating the screen with your finger is smooth and seamless. On the left side of the Chromebook Spin 713, we have a USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type-C with display port and charging, a USB 3.0 Type-A, a headphone microphone combo and a micro SD card reader. On the right, we have a power button, a USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type-C, 5 gigabits per second data transfer, a HDMI 1.4B port and volume rocker. Wireless is taken care of with a Wi-Fi 6 AX201 card supporting Bluetooth 5. Wireless cover was excellent and fast. The Chromebook keyboard is excellent to type on and quiet while you're finishing your coursework or assignment. There's good tactile feedback from the 1.2mm spaced out keys and useful backlit keys when working in poor lighting. The large square glass trackpad has a smooth and responsive glide with Chrome OS multi-touch gestures. No issues navigating the pointer around the screen with the touchpad. The Spin 713 has dual speakers underneath the keyboard deck. The audio is tinny even at maximum volume. It's acceptable for daily use but I would recommend using headphones if you intend on listening to Spotify regularly. The 720p webcam is the usual just about acceptable video quality for Zoom or Teams video meetings. If video quality is important to you, purchase the external webcam. This review model has an Intel Core i3 10110U 2 core processor running at 2.1 GHz up to 4.1 GHz in turbo boost mode. TDP is rated at 15 watts. Along with 8 GB of soldered on memory, the Acer Chromebook Spin 713 is zippy to use. On a daily load of school or office work, multiple Chrome tabs open, Google Docs, Twitter and Web Spotify. The Spin 713 didn't have any performance issues. The generous 128GB of SSD accommodates app installations allowing you to install large Android games. Plus the drive is the faster PCIe NVMe M.2 variant compared to the slower eMMC used in lower end Chromebooks. The fan only comes on infrequently even when under load and the chassis never gets too warm to use on your lap. The integrated Intel UHD Graphics 620 can handle most mobile Android games in the Play Store with some help from the hardware specs on this review model. The GPU is a few years old now but it will run most apps. Once upon a time gaming on a Chromebook was limited to Chrome OS titles then Google opened the Play Store allowing you to play thousands of Android games. More recently cloud gaming has suddenly matured allowing you to play AAA titles on your Chromebook. Unfortunately we won't be covering it in this video but here are some cloud gaming options available to spin 713 owners. Xbox Game Pass for Android xCloud, GeForce Now, Google Stadia, Steam, 
The free cell 48 watt hour battery gives the Spin 713 an impressive battery run time of around 7 to 8 hours, more than enough for long days at college or the workplace. The 45 watt AC power adapter keeps the Spin 713 topped up when needed. Top 3 pros and cons before buying the Acer Chromebook Spin 713. Excellent 3x2 screen. The 3x2 display gives you more vertical screen space. It takes a little getting used to if you've been using 16x9 widescreens up to this point. It's a very good display panel with enough brightness, clarity and rich colours to make it a joy to use for hours on end. Battery life. Consistently, the Spin 713 gives around 7-8 to eight hours of battery life. OK, it's not class leading, but with the higher hardware specs, it's a good compromise. Range of ports. Acer has done a fantastic job of adding plenty of ports to the Spin 713. Two USB-C and one USB-A ports, HDMI, headphone and micro SD slot. No complaints in this department. Weak speakers. I always question why manufacturers place speakers underneath a laptop. No surprise that audio in the Spin 713 is weak and not that great. If you place a laptop on the bed or sofa, the audio is partially blocked. Poor webcam. The 720p webcam is poor even in better lighting conditions. It's barely passable with Zoom or Teams meetings. Plus there's no privacy shutter. No pen. I wish manufacturers would include a stylus pen with their 360 offerings like the Spin 713. Yes, you can use your finger gestures on the touchscreen, but surely you want to note take or draw it too with a pen. There's a crowded market for premium Chromebooks in 2020. What other Chromebooks would you be looking at? In no particular order, here's some to consider. Samsung Galaxy Chromebook, Google Pixelbook Go, Zeus Chromebook Flip C434, HP Chromebook X360 14. The Acer Chromebook Spin 713 has all the hallmarks of a great Chromebook. An excellent and bright 3x2 touchscreen, good backlit keyboard, 360 modes, plenty of ports, USI pen compatible and good performance battery life at a competitive price. Chrome OS allows you to use the Android app, Play Store and Linux beta for development and coding work. It narrowly misses the bullseye with weak speakers and a poor webcam. Shame as they have become more important in this working and studying at home world. If you can live without these two features, the Acer Chromebook Spin 713 is one of the best Chromebooks you can buy. What do you guys think? Leave your comments and discuss below. Hope you guys enjoyed the review of the Acer Chromebook Spin 713 laptop. Please click on the like button if you enjoyed this review video and subscribe if you would like to watch more of our tech videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Just wanted to say a massive thank you for watching our videos and all the comments on our channel. You've helped us grow by watching and subscribing. It was started as a bit of fun reviewing tech and now we're still humbled by the positive comments, helping people make a purchase decision. Keep liking and remember to click on the subscribe button. Cheers.